Last couple of minutes was actually okay. It was the first couple of minutes. Um, look, it was a um, it was definitely the toughest game of rugby since since I came to Munster. Uh, two teams that didn't want to give up, and uh, you know, if if you get only one score in the second half, it just when games open up, it just shows how intense it was, and it will definitely not go down as the prettiest game um, of rugby. But uh, you know, we had a chat at half time and. We had to adapt our plan and um, you know, look at our composure. And I thought we did it really well in the second half. I thought everybody, one to twenty-three, gave it their all. And special mention to to the Chiefs. Um, I've said it so many times. It's it's a rugby team and a club that I respect so much. And uh, you've got to give them credit. And it was literally till the last play of the game. It, it was in the balance. And um, from our point of view, when the dust settles and we open our eyes tomorrow morning when we wake up, we're in a quarter final and you know that's that's the main thing you've got to get out of your pool and uh, we did hard work and uh, we're out of a pool and into a quarter final and it'll take care of itself at the end of march it's it's, it's more the pressure um, it was pressure from both sides and i think both sides made made mistakes and you know, we had to adapt our kicking game and um, in the second half and i thought we did so very well and you know, two special moments from from andrew uh, that gave us territory and I thought a mall came came into the into the game in the second half. Considered a few penalties. I'll go and have a look at them and you know, that steal from Billy five yards away from the trial and I, I thought was a was a momentum shift. They score there, they go um, eight points ahead and, and then we needed to to chase and, and you know that might have opened the game up but no credit to our guys. Um, I I spoke in the week of, of the will to win and one to twenty three show the will to win tonight. Yeah, I think Tiger is a is a special player, and um, he's had a few man of the match performances in in this competition uh, specifically, and I think he's he's very dynamic, and you know he's one of the only locks in in world rugby that that can poach the way that he can, and he's worked so hard on his calling. When he arrived at Munster, he wasn't really a calling option, and I threw him into the deep end, and. Um, Actually, at the at the uh, Pro 14 loans in uh, Glasgow, we had a chat about calling, and um, you know he said it's something that he wants to take on, and, and he did it so well, and I think he's developed into one of the the form locks of of the European competition. Then after the knee, he talked about like he was worried at the time. Which yeah. You can say yeah. Um, look, it's pretty early. He'll definitely go for a scan on on that knee. Um, Hopefully it's it's not serious, but uh, he couldn't continue, and um, you know, obviously we'll we'll get the information across to Joe on the Irish side, and eleven of our lads are, are leaving tomorrow morning to to go to Ireland um, to the national side. So, you know, hopefully we'll have more information on Monday. You want to use top of this man's composure for the winning penalty? Yeah. Um, Interesting to have Joey here next to me in terms of, of um, composure, but um, the very first day that I met him, uh, I said, or I asked him, you know, why do you want to come to Munster? And he said, he wants to come here to, to make a difference and he wants to fit in and he wants to, to make this a better team. And I think he's done so in every single action of his on and off the field. Um, now after the Cus game, which he missed maybe one or two uh, penalties or, or kicks to come back and kick 20 out of 20, if I'm not mistaken, that that's incredible. That's a sign of, of pure class, and I think his willingness to learn and his willingness to improve is is an incredible trait of a very young rugby player still. And I think there's a lot of expectation um, on him when he came to Munster, but the way he's handled himself and conducted him, in special man and a special player, and proud to be his coach. George, how much confidence do you take from this particular block of games, the 20 kicks from 20, the performances you're putting in? How much confidence do you take coming out of this block of games now? Yes, yeah, <coughs> obviously it's great to get, but there's still nothing won, there's still nothing accomplished this season. Um, to be honest, I'm just doing my job, <coughs> hoping that players around me can benefit from it. So we'll take good confidence coming in. We're in a good position now, um, but then we've got to keep building every day and keep learning and improving as a team, which I think we've done really well over this Christmas period. Sometimes you can't put up <coughs> rates of points like, like you did against Gloucester. You have to you come up against tough opponents in this competition. Exeter were well up for this tonight. You got over the line. You, you managed to, to get over with the win. 
is that a different kind of confidence you take from being able to get over the line in, in tight games? Definitely, like Exeter is a special team, like they're very, very good, um, very tough to break down and very physical as well. So uh, to come out, of, come away with the win, and I suppose the more we progress in this competition, the harder it's going to get. So the more we can learn from games like this and influence it into our game, then the better we're going to be. So the better teams we play, the better we're going to be. So um, it's a learning curve.